Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. <clears throat> Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray you're doing well this morning. Uh, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, I had a couple of bags of, uh, of coffee and they were like down at the bottom. Uh, just and I keep coffee in the freezer. I don't know if y'all do that, but I had a couple of bags left over and none of them were a full pot of coffee. So I just mixed it all together. And uh, so I've got like two or three different kinds of coffee in here and I brewed it all together and it's interesting. So, oh well, it's hot. <laughs> all right, well, this morning, the Revised Common Lectionary, and by the way, tomorrow morning is going to be the first Sunday in Advent, so looking forward to that. Um, but today we're still in Pentecost, so uh, we're going to start off with Psalm 25, verses 1 through 10, and then we're going to Nehemiah, and then we're going to the Gospel of Luke. So, let's get started. So here we go. Psalm 25, verses 1 through 10. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. So here we go. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exult over me. Indeed, none who wait for you shall be put to shame. They shall be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. Remember your mercy, O Lord, and your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep His covenant and His testimonies. Love that. Love that. Absolutely love that. All right. <clears throat> Get a little bit of coffee here. The, New, the Old Testament lesson this morning, Nehemiah chapter 9, verses 26 through 31. And here we go. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and, and rebelled against you and cast your, cast your law behind their back and killed your prophets who had warned them in order to turn them <clears throat> back to you. And they committed great blasphemies. Therefore, you gave them into the hand of their enemies who made them suffer. And in the time of their suffering, they cried out to you and you heard them from heaven. And according to your great mercies, you gave them saviors who saved them from the hand of their enemies. But after they had rest, they did evil again before you, and you abandoned them to the hand of their enemies, so that they had dominion over them. Yet when they turned and cried to you, you heard from heaven, and many times you delivered them according to your mercies, and you warned them in order to turn them back to your law. Yet they acted presumptuously and did not obey your commandments, but sinned against your rules, which if a person does them, he shall live by them. And they turned a stubborn shoulder and stiffened their neck and would not obey. Many years you bore with them and warned them by your spirit through your prophets. Yet they would not give ear. Therefore you gave them into the hand of the peoples of the lands. Nevertheless, in your great mercies, you did not make an end of them or forsake them, for you are a gracious and merciful God. <sighs> yes, amen, amen. All right, the New Testament lesson this morning, Luke chapter 21, verses 20 through 24. And here we go. But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation has come near. 
Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let those who are inside the city depart, and let not those who are out in the country enter it, for these are the days of vengeance, to fulfill all that is written. Alas, for women who are pregnant, and for those who are nursing infants in those days, for there will be great distress upon the earth and wrath against this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be led captive among all nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. And this is the word of the Lord. Next we'll go to the Pray Now app. And I really enjoy the prayers for the Pray Now app. So here we go. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come that by your protection we may be rescued from the threatening perils of our sins and saved by your mighty deliverance. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So be happy and be safe and be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow morning on Coffee in the Word. God bless. Bye-bye.